Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into disappearance of Bula May Robertson. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that right. Um, age 36, missing since October 5th, 1993, from Warner Robins, Georgia. Five foot four, 110 pounds. Black African American female. Last seen at her home on Peach Tree Circle. In Warner Robins, Georgia, on the night of October 5th, 1993. She was known to frequent the areas of Jody Town, 1st and 6th Streets, and Old Town in Warner Robins. Black hair, brown eyes. Sounds like they really don't have a lot to go on. So, if you have any information about maybe places you remember seeing her back then, or who she was with or what might have happened to her, please contact authorities and let them know. Let them decide what's relevant and what's important. Um, this is the Charlie Project. It says it doesn't have her birth date. Um, her ears are pierced. I'm surprised it doesn't give her a birth date. She was reported missing by her teenage daughter. She's never been heard from again. Um, she, and then it gives the same information. South 1st Street area is foul play suspected, which in her case remains unsolved. And now we're going to look at some Jane Doe's. So, like I said, if you have any information at all, because it's been a lot of years, maybe you gave them the information before, you're not sure if they still have it, maybe you were afraid to come forward. Um, just maybe you could email them and CC, you know, the police, the sheriff's department, and a detective. If you want to make sure that somebody takes the information down or if you're not sure if the emails are going to work. Um, and you can also write them letters or call it in or go in. So let's look at the Jane Doe's we have. We have this Jane Doe found in Atlanta, Georgia in 2007. I don't know if she looks anything like her. Um, facial shape and stuff like that. And she was age 30 to 50 years old. Cannot estimate height or weight. Estimated year of death, 1950 to 2007. Found in a wooded area, being cleared for a parking lot. All that was present was the cranium and most of the maxilla. And Italis completely skeletonized. And let's see, we have this Jane Doe found in Atlanta, Georgia, September 2003. It says zero years. Does that mean she died that year, but it says zero to 2003? I don't know. Estimated age, 35 to 55. I don't know if that looks anything like her or not. And... Um, can I estimate height or weight? Found in a wooded area by persons searching for war relics. Partial skeleton including cranium, right femur, pelvis parts, and vertebra. So, size 7 brown leather weave sandals on the body. Um... Law enforcement asking for public's help in solving 30-year-old case. This was in 2022. There's a video you can watch. Police department has partnered with Macon Regional Crime Stoppers to gather information on what happened to her. Uh, they're offering $8,000 to anyone who helps solve the mystery. She was a good, hum humble person going out of her way for you and everything. That's why we didn't understand what happened to her. Didn't know anything. Just like she vanished. And then there's more information. If you want to pause it and read it. This one says she came to our house late that night. Um, I'll never forget it. She came to our house. I'm not sure if she was looking for my mother or if she was looking for my brother. She knocked on our door. It was about 1.30 in the morning. And the next day came, came along. And her daughter, Tamika, came out and was like, have you seen my mama? And I was like, no. Then days and days went by and it was just like she'd vanished. Wow. And her daughter reported her missing. 
She was only 15 years old at the time, and she's never known what happened to her. So, and this is a, a unsure doe, unsure if it's male or female, found in Marietta, Georgia. Cobb County really doesn't give. They really don't have a lot of information about this doe. And so that is about two hours and 51 minutes away. But there's a traffic slowed down right now. So, And then we have this man that I wanted to mention. Even though this is a man. He was found in December 27th, 1995. Okay, she went missing in 1993. And it was 35 to 50 years old, found in College Park. Estimated PMI is years, 1990 to 1995 is the estimated year of death. Five foot eight, cannot estimate his height. Scales remains found in a wooded area. Indicates that he may be a biological relative of an unidentified female remains found in Screven County, Georgia. Or Screven County, I don't know how to pronounce that. Nearly all the skeleton was covered. And I couldn't find that Jane Doe that was found in that county or any information. And that Jane Doe was found just two and a half hours from where she went missing. You can see that. So I wasn't sure if that Jane Doe could have been her or not. Um, blue plastic comb found near body, long sleeve synthetic blue shirt with red, gray, and green, and blue stripes, size medium with favorites label. Heavy blue coat with gray lining, gray to dark brown knit pants. And I was just wondering if anybody knows of a male and a female, maybe cousins, or brothers and sisters, or, you know, aunt, uncle, niece, I don't know, that both went missing. Who knows? And then that also made me think of the um, Bennett case, Michael Anthony Bennett. You know, if he had, he went missing in 1989. So I was wondering if that could have been him. You know, that would have been, what, seven years later from the time he went missing. Um, and his sister... I had wondered if that could have been his sister, if she could have been the Jane Doe in um, Scrubbing County, Georgia, and if he could have been the man that was in um, College Park. But I don't think he would have been 35 years old at the time. This doesn't say how old he was when he went missing, does it? I wonder why it doesn't say how old he was when he went missing. He was young. Was he like 14 or something? I can't remember. But it just made me think of their case because of the... They were related. And I don't know if that facial shape is similar or not, but... Okay, so then the next Jane Doe we have is found in Atlanta, Georgia, 1996. Estimated year of death is 1990 to 1996. Five foot five. Estimated 130 pounds. Estimated. So hair is black with some gray, three to four inches long. And then it gives a description of her clothing if you want to look at it. And these are all somebody's loved one, you know. It might be somebody's, it could be somebody's sister, their mother. You know, it's definitely somebody's daughter that they haven't solved. They don't know, you know, they don't have closure. Um, this is an unsure, uncertain doe found in East Point, Georgia in 1999. Estimated a few of my years. Could have been anywhere from 18 to 99 years old. They don't know who it is. Just partial skeleton parts only found. You know, you'd think it would be somebody that went missing in East Point, Georgia. And I do believe there was somebody that went missing in East Point, Georgia, come to think of it. And I'm not sure if I included this or not, now that I look at it. 
And then we have a female found in Jasper, Georgia, age 43 to 99 years old, estimated, estimated 5 foot 7. Skeletal remains found by squirrel hunters off MacArthur Road, Jasper, Georgia. Wrangler shorts, polo brown shorts, size 34, Nike shoes, knit pullover shirt with life is good on chest area. Wow, that's sad. Um, then we have this young lady found in Cedartown, Georgia in 2003. Estimated age is only 15 to 24 years old. She was only about 5'2 and 100 pounds. Found in burned residence in Cedartown, Georgia. Straight black hair, brown eyes. So sad. Um, then we have this is a John Doe. Why do I have him included? I don't know. I don't know why I have him here. He's Savannah, Georgia, 2005, but I had him in the list for some reason. Could have been a mistake. I don't know. Then I have an unsure, uncertain doe, age 20 to 50, estimated PMI as years. Bones found by a surveyor working in the area. And then I have, that's a male. That should not be there. And that should not be there. And I don't think that other one should be there either. I think that was a mistake, but if you have any information whatsoever about what might have happened to her, please contact authorities and let them know. Don't forget to pray for her family and her loved ones. Feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.